Hey everybody, it's JTH Mobile here. I am here with another video. I haven't been doing these videos in a minute, but I'm definitely getting back into it. Um, this video is going to be about Instagram. As you guys know, I am currently on Instagram. If you're um, on there, go ahead and follow my page. I will be posting up a lot of different things to keep up with. We'll see my fitness and motivational posts. And I'm just going to be talking about in this video, really uh, more so, on how to pay attention to your insights. So that way you know exactly what to look for and what to post more of so that your page can grow. As you can see, my page is currently at 2,000 followers. Um, and it's actually left a little, a lot of thousand, almost less than that, uh, not so long ago. But I've been growing it in the last couple of weeks. So I have been seeing a lot of growth. Um, I'm hoping to get to, actually, really look, I might get to 10,000 by the end of the year, to be honest. Only because of the way that I'm growing everything and the way I'm going to be putting out. So we're going to go ahead and just dive into it. Go ahead and subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already. And hit the like button after you're done watching this video. If you like it, leave me comments at the bottom. So for example, I'm going to go ahead and show you my page. Um, as you can see, these are my latest posts. Like this post is just me just showing my hair. I just took my um, barrel twist out and I went ahead and want to show my hair. So everybody can see and I already got 91 views on this. It was like yesterday. All right, so I just went ahead and posted because for I've noticed people actually like looking at me on my page. So if I post a video about me doing stuff and include some relevant hashtags, then people will actually generate to it, or gravitate to it rather. And I also make sure that I include a good caption. I don't just pick the pick the post without any caption. Some people do, but for me personally, I like having a good caption. And I actually would just start doing that more so. So you can see that's me. And then also have my motivational post, which is something I really want to have more of. So that's why I continuously post them. So I'll include them with my post to have a little theme going on. And then I know also my fitness posts get a lot of hits as well. So that's something that I'm making sure that I'm going to post more of to do that. Uh, so keep it up. Alright, I commented on her. Spot her. And that's just basically me doing that. Alright. This one got almost 300 views. And it was just me just flexing. Alright. So, the overall, the video, I actually want, what I want to talk to you guys about your insights. Alright. And this is, when, this is, has a lot to do with what I just showed you right now. You know, these are people who commented on the video, you know, and showed up when, how I got to where I am right now. It is basically just the progress that I've made over the last few years. Okay? So, you can go in there and see that if you haven't seen that already. So, now, what I wanted to show you guys is on my phone. Alright, if I click on Instagram, move this over, I'll show you my insights. And these are going to be the ones that actually let you know what post is working, what post isn't working, those types of things. Alright, so now I don't need to check my notifications. Alright, so this is from the this last video that was posted. Okay, that was a comment I made on the post. I'll, I'll come back to that. Alright, so I'll go to my page and then I'll go scroll on my post. Alright. So for example, we'll go to this post. This one it says here's the insights. And it shows that I've reached 220 people and seven people, like seven people visited my page because of this video. I don't think it needed that many, but seven people visited our page. Now I scroll up so even more, you can see I got over 112, 112 from hashtags. People were 167 from the home and just overall impressions. But seven people viewed my page because of this. Okay. And if I scroll down even more, you can see the same thing on my actual page, uh, my post, but those are the ones. I'll include them because that's something I just I just do. So over time, people get used to seeing that. Same thing with this. I can check my insights. All right, haven't any any profile pieces, but the reach has been pretty good. And same thing, you know, you can tell also from your hashtags, you know, that they actually do work. So that's something else that I looked into. Okay, and the one that really grabbed my attention was this one. Obviously, you know, 22 people viewed my page because of this post, and I'm not doing it by flexing. And of course, the caption. You know, then I get 22 visits. One person actually texted a number, and then some of them from the hashtags. Most of them from the hashtags. That's that. It's important to use hashtags, but not to overuse them. That's something that I had to learn because I was using about 33 of them, 30 of them per post. And at first it was working, but then of course Instagram changed their algorithm, 
So I had to find a different way. So I use now maybe eight to ten um, hashtags that are relevant to my post, and then people check them out from there. You, know, you can see most of the different hashtags, and then it gets people who looks on their homepage, and people two people that actually went to my profile and seen it from there. But you can see that, all right? So that's that. Those are those insights. Now, what I really wanted to show you guys is if you go to your homepage, your profile page. Oh shoot, got 504 visits in the last seven days. So I'll screenshot that, and I'll thank them for that. Also, getting my 2,000 uh, followers. But hit this button out right here. You'll see your insights. All right, you click on this. This can give you a better view of what has been going on with your page. Who are you reaching? How many people are you checking it out? So as this one so far, I made one less post for the week so far. But I'm making more posts today, so that actually will change. And then you can see the feed posts as far as impressions that you have been getting per post. And this one obviously is the most with me flexing, which gives me an idea. Like even though I don't want it to be all about, um, I need to get that book. Um, all about me flexing more so is more about fitness. You know, fit, if you are a person that's like me, you are into the gym a lot, then fitness is very important to you. So you want to make sure that you show that. So I will actually have this up here like this. You don't see all, and you can get an idea of which ones actually took got a lot of hits. And the one I took with Waka Flocka, that one almost got 5,000 views. You know, and then this one in my Haitian video right here, that one got almost 800, almost 900. That was almost 1,000 with Tony. So you can get an idea of what is working and what you can continue doing. Now, even if the other videos that I have as far as my, uh, my number of posts aren't working as much, that doesn't mean I should stop doing it. It just means I need to keep doing it, but include these other posts too. Okay, so as you can see, it's actually taken from my account. All right, um, I've had, like I said, the profile pages have gone up, uh, website clicks, which I need to update my website, um, the text as well, and even these impressions have gone up. And this is just the last couple of days, really. So, as you can see, my reach, my impressions have gone all the way up, and all I've been doing is just posting. And I can really tell you this <laughs> I've been posting relevant posts, okay. And I've also been making sure that I follow relevant pages and I comment on their pages. And then I, once I do that, they respond back to me. So it really is basically as simple as that. It's having a relationship with people online, making sure that you are being genuine. I used to, I still use automation from time to time, but I haven't used it as much. So lately it's just been me just going out and literally making these posts out for myself. So I'll make a post and um, I will go ahead and comment or reach out to people who are similar to what I just posted and then I'll find the, the post that I like and then I'll comment on that. And keep in mind, this is something I actually had learned from my friend, my, actually my roommate actually has mentioned this to me. This is what she does. And it works. And even though I want to continue getting automation going on and all this other stuff, which is good, but it's not for if I'm trying to actually build a personal brand, which is what I'm doing right now for the Haitian mobile. Now anything else, that's fine. But as far as a personal brand, this is something that I need to go ahead and be more personal with it. Okay? So, um, for this, you can see the audience. I've grown almost 100 in the last week. And then we'll make it grow some more. And then also the areas. So you can tell which areas actually hit more. And of course, your gender and the number of followers, how many, what time of the day your followers are on. You know? So, it, it, insights are very important to use, in my opinion, because you'll be able to see. Or you're doing good that you need to keep doing what you need to stop doing. Um, and if you don't really use it to your advantage, because keep in mind Instagram's free, Facebook's free, Twitter's free, they're giving you ideas and basically kind of give you hints as far as what you need to keep doing so that way you can grow. Especially if you're trying to grow a brand, and as you guys know, once you get to 10,000 followers on Instagram, you can start including links. You can start actually charging people to post on your page or share something on their page or be a, an affiliate for a program on your page that's related to what you're already trying to do. So it's a lot of different things you can actually be able to do once you're on Instagram to make money with it as long as you grow that following. So that's something that I've actually been working heavily on at this point because at the end of the day, as you guys all know, I don't want to be working for 9 to 5 forever. So I want to be able to actually do what I want to do and make money doing it. So that involves me uh, creating t-shirts, that involves me doing my graphic designs, also making more videos, and sharing my videos with everybody that is actually around, so that way they can see it, then that'll be what I'll do. Okay? Uh, that number actually doesn't work anymore, so I need to update that too. Um, but anyway, check out my page if you haven't done so already. I'm definitely going to put up a lot of more videos of me doing my workouts. Um, actually, 
I'm going to be going to the gym later today, so I'll be doing some of those. And let me know what you think about this video. If this helps you get an idea of what you can do for yourself so that way your page can also grow, um, then please do that. And keep up with me. You know, subscribe. Like I said, give me a like if you like this video. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. All right? Thank you so much for watching.